Lay aside the garments that are stained in sin and be washed in the blood of the Lamb. There's a fountain flowing for the soul and clean. Oh, be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Are you washed in the blood? In the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb. Are your garments Spotless are they white as snow. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? When the bridegroom cometh, will your robes be white, pure and white in the blood of the Lamb. Will your soul be ready for the mansion's bright and be washed in the blood of the Lamb? Hi, brothers and sisters. I hope you're all doing well. Today's message is especially for those people who are struggling with still wanting to watch secular entertainment. And I'm just going to be explaining some of the things the Lord has revealed to me about secular entertainment, which is secular movies, secular music, secular, you know, there are a lot of things like soap operas, comedies, reality TV shows, all those things, you know, they are all, all those non-Christian programs. And I know that there are a lot of people who are still watching them, you know, not because they want to be disobedient to the Lord, but just because they do not realize how sinful all those things are and how much they, they separate us, you know, like from God's presence, how they pull us away from the presence of the Lord and cause us to focus on the things that are perishing, the things of the earth. So I'm going to share with you some of the things the Lord showed me about secular entertainment as well as what happened to me when I when I quit secular entertainment. So when the Lord gave me the testimony of hell, one of the things that the Lord emphasized was about how secular entertainment is taking people to hell. The Lord was talking about secular movies, soap operas, comedies, TV shows, all those secular programs and how they are leading a lot of people to hell without people even realizing it. And at this time when the Lord was telling me this along with my family, I was so much into movies, like a whole lot. I would spend like my whole day just watching movies. I really loved them. I loved soap operas. I used to watch them a lot. And so when the Lord told us that these things were taking us to hell and we need to stop. We were very carnal minded at that time. Like, I don't know what I can say if I can say that we were spiritually immature. The Lord said, secular TV is going to take you to hell. And then what we did is we stopped watching all those secular programs on TV. And then we started to watch them on the laptop instead. And then I was thinking to myself, you know, that's because I love them so much, you know. And then I was thinking to myself that, you know, if, if Jesus tells me on the day of judgment that I told you to quit secular TV, we're going to say, Jesus, you didn't say even secular laptop. <laughs> that's what I thought that it would be an excuse. You know, I didn't understand, like, I didn't know how the Lord works, you know, and, and I thought like I could just get away with it. Like I would just say, Lord Jesus, you didn't say even secular laptop. You just said secular TV is leading you to hell. And that shows you how much I used to love these things. 
because what happened to me is the day I got baptized with the Holy Spirit, when I tried to watch a, a secular soap opera, I always talk about this, it was so, so tormenting, so tormenting. And that's because I had just received the Holy Spirit. And a long time after that, I would say like months later, you know, when you begin to go out there in the world and then you see how other people are living and then, and then your focus gets diverted from the Lord and your focus gets to be diverted to other people. Okay, you see like, oh, but why would the Lord be requiring this of me when all these other Christians are not even living the way that, that the Lord is asking me to? And so there was a time when my attention got diverted and then I started thinking to myself like, um, you know, I started thinking to myself like, maybe I can tell Jesus that you didn't tell me that secular, lap secular laptop, but when you think about it, it's all the same, like, what the Lord was talking about is the content. It doesn't matter if you're watching it from TV or from a laptop or the radio. It's all meant to defile you and lead you to hell. It's all meant to draw you away from the Lord. And so the Lord said that secular TV is leading a lot of people to hell. And then the Lord said that when Satan when Satan and his demons, they had a meeting about how they could lead many more people into hell. And then one of the biggest weapons that they decided to use was through entertainment, through the movies, through the, the soap operas, those TV programs. That's what they decided that they were going to lead people to hell. And then the Lord said that, do you think that they make all those things to entertain you, they do not. And then the Lord showed me that a lot of these people who are in the entertainment industry, many of them are actually demon incarnates, the Nephilim. They do not have a human soul. They do pretend, not everyone. A lot of humans have as well been been lured into the into the entertainment industry and there are a lot of humans who are doing that you know they do not know that the people they are copying the people whom they've made into their idols the people whom they want to be like they don't know that many of them are not even human a lot of people are following blindly the, this issue of the nephilim the demon incarnates it's very very real and he said that, do you think they want to entertain you? The Lord said secular entertainment is a sleeping pill. When you take it, your spiritual life, you just fall asleep, asleep. You fall asleep spiritually. That's what it's meant to do. Your love for God, your love for prayer, it's just all going to diminish. You do not know that they're brainwashing you into, a, into living a godless life. They are brainwashing you into living a life without God, into forgetting your God. That's what it's meant for. They want you to emphasize and to concentrate on the here and now. Enjoy yourself now. You know, just relax. Watch this movie. It's so entertaining. You do not know they, all they want is your eternal soul. They, even when they're making those things, they don't even have it in their mind to say, oh, let's entertain the humans. They don't. They want you to go to hell. That's what the Lord says, and the Lord doesn't lie. And the Lord told me that a lot of movies, all these movie scripts, a lot of them are actually written by Satan himself. And some are written by his agents. He writes them, and then he gives his agents, and even just other people are actors people who are just following blindly he gives them to say act these things and then you're going to have someone like oh here's the movie writer here's the the person who wrote down this script many of those people the lord say that they are some of them are nephilim and they get direct instructions from satan many of them are into demonic covenants one thing that the lord showed me is that satan wants each and every soul it doesn't matter 
where that soul is. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you are in the richest country or if you, if you are in the poorest country. As long as you are a human being, you have a soul. That's what he wants because he knows how precious your soul is to the Lord and he wants you to follow him. Satan wants you to follow him that you may go to hell with him. But the Lord wants you to escape those traps of Satan. You know, the Lord showed me about how the Nephilim work. And the Lord said that, you know, they do not just focus on those people who are like in the high class or those rich people, you know, super rich people. Because some, someone may think that, oh, maybe top Hollywood actors. The Lord has shown me Nephilim among Hollywood actors, among even African actors. Like in Africa, movies from Nigeria are usually like very popular here. And I used to watch a lot of them when I, was, when I was still living in ignorance. And the Lord has shown me a lot of Nigerian actors and Nigerian actresses who are actually Nephilim. And they do not even have a human soul. And that is why they are able to do all those abominable Acts, they know they have nothing to lose. They are, they are so purpose for existence here on the earth is to make sure as many humans as possible can see the things, the abominable things that they are doing, that they are teaching, that they are promoting and either start to do the same things or even just you entertaining those things. You are sinning against the Lord. Because you are not committing adultery, but you're watching people who are committing adultery on TV. You yourself, you're not insulting, but you are watching people on TV who are insulting. And the Holy Spirit dwells in you. Is the Holy Spirit pleased with the things that you're watching? Because whatever you're doing, the Lord is always with us. He doesn't leave. And the, that, that is why the Lord is calling us to be holy and to be separate from the world. Those things are leading you to hell. The Lord is going to ask you. You're going to say, Lord, where is it written in your word that I shouldn't watch a secular movie? And the Lord is going to tell you the only reason why you are so comfortable watching those movies is because you did not know me. When, when Jesus was about to leave this earth, what did he tell the disciples? He said to the disciples, I have so many things that I still want to tell you. But when the Holy Spirit comes, he's going to come and lead you into all truth. Jesus didn't worry that I'm leaving my disciples. I haven't told them each and every little thing. He knew that when the Holy Spirit comes and dwells in a person, the Holy Spirit is going to be guiding you even sin that nobody even told you about you're going to realize is this pleasing to the lord i'm not committing adultery but i'm watching a movie that is making incest look normal making adultery look normal how is this pleasing to the lord a lot of these people in the entertainment industry all those things they do, you think like someone is, oh, they're just getting wild. Maybe they're on drugs. Maybe they're they are in this and that. They know exactly what they're doing. That's what the Lord showed me. A lot of them, many of them. I saw a lot of Hollywood actors whom the Lord showed me and Nephilim. I saw a lot of Hollywood actors, musicians, reality TV stars. And I used to like watching Korean soap operas. I used to love those a lot. And afterwards, when the Lord started to show us about secular TV, the Lord also showed me a lot of Korean actors who are Nephilim. And that all those things they were doing, acting all these movies, you know, it's, it's work. To them, it's work. They are working. They are working for the kingdom of Satan. Let the human, let the human feel like watching this. Oh, it's so nice. It's, it's this, you know, it's so relaxing. They know that keep on sleeping. Your soul is on its way to hell. That's what they're saying. And you don't know that. You think they're 
doing all those things, you know, they want to make all this money. Yeah, some of them want to make money, but when it comes to the Nephilim, do you know that what the Lord showed me? When it comes to the Nephilim, it's not even about the money. They know that they are doomed. And I remember there was a, there was a time when, when we went to this place, like right here in my country, and it's, it's a really far away place, you know, like very rural, you know, people live in mad houses. I was so surprised. I was with my sister and my husband. And then when, when I was so surprised that just there when we were there, the Lord showed me some people who were Nephilim. You know how the Lord shows me the Nephilim is when, when I just see them. You know, sometimes the Lord can show me in a dream or he can show me in a vision later. Sometimes I may not see the person like there and then. And please don't send me pictures of people asking me, is this person a Nephilim or not? Like, that's not my work. That's not what God wants me to do. Like, I know that some people, you know, like you just need to pray and ask God for discernment of the people around you. But please don't send me pictures wanting me to tell you like is this an Ephilim is this not that's not what God wants me to do and so when I, the way that the Lord shows me is sometimes like when when you just meet them and and I can see through them I can see through them like I can actually see that that this body that looks like a human you know it's just like a cover and they are kind of I don't know how to explain it more like as if they are not solid like you can see and you can see all these demonic powers around them like i'm able to see the lord shows me that this is a nephilim and i saw a woman right there in that village where we went i saw this woman and she was a nephilim and then i remember like i saw her and then i uh, you know at the same time my sister had also seen her and then i was telling my sister that, can you see this woman? Like she's a Nephilim. And my sister was, yeah, I've seen her as well. And then we were so shocked. And then you know what she was saying in the spirit? Because when, when, when I see them, like when we see them, they're able to communicate to you even without opening their mouths. They talk because that's how you talk in the spiritual realm. Like you don't necessarily, it's more like you, you can communicate thoughts to thought. And then, and then she was, and then she was saying, you know, like you can actually hear someone's thoughts loudly, and they can hear your thoughts without having to open a physical mouth. That's how it is in the spirit. And so, she was saying, yeah, you know, because she saw that we were so shocked that a nephilim can be in that very rural place, you know, where people are suffering, and and then we were surprised. Like why would a Nephilim come to this place and live here? You know, why wouldn't they be living somewhere, maybe in Hollywood, you know, among actors and all those rich people? And then, you know what, what she said? She said, I don't care where I have to live as long as I can do my mission. That's what she was saying in the spirit. And then she was saying, I don't care where I have to live. Yes, even the villages, we have to live there because there are human souls there. And then, you know, the Lord said that this is how seriously they take their mission. Like in the village, in the deepest, most remote place on earth, they are there because they know their human souls to harvest for hell. And what do they do? They operate like witches. They are able to cast spells and to control people. They can cast spells on things. They cast spells on food, they cast spells on clothes, they cast spells on people's things to control them, to lure them into sin. They attack people that when they see a child of God, they cast spells on them to feel lazy to pray. They are there and also to do a physical mission, which is the most important reason why they are here on this earth. The Lord said that they are mostly here to become a physical stumbling block to people so that they cannot 
make it to eternal life because they know that people follow the majority. And so Satan has sent them in their masses to come here, you know, to, to pretend to be a Christian, to pretend to be a Christian. Some of them, not, a, not everyone, even among atheists, they're going to find the demon incarnates there. They have completely different missions. When they come to be a Christian, they're going to pretend like, oh, they're even living a holy life, but they'll be, you know, like leading you to hell in one way. That's how they always are. You know, they'll bring slander, they'll bring strife, envy. They do a lot of demonic missions. Like I know one woman whom the Lord had shown me that she's a, a Nephilim. And you know, this woman, I, I knew this woman from the time when I was growing up and I had no idea this woman would be a Nephilim because she was someone who pretended to be very a very spiritual person. Many of you are looking to people, you don't know some of those people you're looking to are not even human. A lot of people have been sent. You're going to say, oh, this woman is so anointed. Look at how anointed she is. A lot of Nephilim have a mission to pretend to be anointed. They're going to pray for people, you know, because they are their spirits. They can see in the spiritual realm. They can come and tell you your past. They can come and tell you everything about your past. They know it because they are demons. They, they are monitoring spirits. They can monitor your life and know. And then you're going to say, oh, look, she told me all about my past, but she's telling you to sin against the Lord. That is why the Lord is saying that you need to keep your focus on him. Your relationship with Jesus is just you and Jesus. Nobody else. Nobody else. No Jesus for yourself. Because there is an intense, fiercely intense battle for your soul in the spiritual realm. And you do not even know. I remember years ago, there's, there's this lady whom I saw on the internet, you know, and the Lord had shown me that she's a Nephilim. And then some time later, somebody was telling me that, oh, look, you know, you know what you're telling, what, what you're saying that you're, you're saying that the Lord doesn't want us to, he doesn't want us to use makeup. He doesn't want us to dress immodestly. He doesn't want us to do this and that. But look, this lady here, I was asking her about it and she's telling me that it's okay, you know, and she can see in the spirit. You know, I, I just left it at that, you know, because this was a woman whom the Lord had shown me long ago before I even knew anything about her. The Lord had shown me that she was a Nephilim and she's on a mission and a lot of people are looking to her and they're saying, oh, look, she can see in the spirit. She's this and that. They do not know. She's working. She's working. She's harvesting souls to help. That's all that the Nephilim want. Even when they make a movie for you, they're harvesting your soul to help. So there was a time when the Lord showed me a vision of a woman, an actress. And then I saw her on a TV show. It was like they were, they were doing like an interview. And then when they were interviewing this woman, you know, it was just like a talk show or something, you know, where people just talk about their lives. And then the ladies, the same actress, she started, you know, talking, uh, talking and making it like, you know, like she's, it's just a, a chat. And then she was talking about how she was committing fornication with her boyfriend, you know, and... She just kept talking about that and then, you know, like referring to it normally as if it's just something norm you do normally. And then when I saw her on that talk show and then it changed and then the Lord told me, you know, I heard the voice of the Lord and then he, he said to me that she has done her work and now she's waiting to be paid. And that Satan was going to pay her for, for all those things that she was talking about on TV because she has worked. Because to the Nephilim, all those people who are in demonic covenants with Satan, humans who are in demonic covenants with Satan, like they are Satanists, devil worshippers, whatever they do is a mission. If they do not do their work, they are severely punished. 
And so they work with this deal or they want let's trap people into into sin let's trap them into lust let's trap them into into gossip let's trap them into slander you need to keep your eyes on jesus and again i want to make it very clear that not every person who is like living a life that is like clearly a life of sin not every one of them is an epilim some of them are human some of them have been blinded like they're following blindly and so they they find themselves like they're working for satan some of them find themselves like they're copying people who are working for satan and so they, because they are, they are copying the lives of those people they end up like performing the, the same mission and so Jesus is saying that all those things, they are specifically designed to lead people to hell. You need to glorify God in the things that you watch. Know that the Holy Spirit is with me right now. He is watching what I'm watching. He's reading what I'm reading. Because that is the reality. And so after the Lord had told me all these things about secular entertainment, this is what happened to me. With the, with the secular music, I think I gave a testimony that after I had been spending a lot of time with the Lord, like I remember this time I was spending like the whole day in the presence of the Lord. When I wake up, I would pray, you know, I would pray around 10 again. I would pray throughout the day. I would just be reading the Bible, praying. You know, I got so drawn to the Lord, so obsessed that when I, when I, when I would leave home, like to go anywhere, you know, I would just be thinking I need to go back, I need to go and pray, you know, my heart was so drawn. It wasn't like a burden that I have to get through, you know, prayer wasn't like a burden. It was a great joy. I remember I was coming from, I was coming from buying something, you know, with my, with, with my sister and my brothers. And then as I was going home, you know, they, they were like taking a stroll chatting and, and I was just thinking like, you know, let's hurry. I need to go and pray. And not because I hadn't prayed the whole day I had, but you no, know, it's more like uh, because I had been spending a lot of time with the Lord, I was so drawn, like I couldn't get enough of Him. And I remember when, when we just came back home, like uh, everybody just went in the house, but I just ran, like I just ran, I just ran to the back of the house because that's the place where I used to pray a lot from. I just ran to the back of the house and, and when I knelt down on my knees, I felt like I was finally home. You know, I was so overjoyed just to be in the presence of the Lord. And so it was during this period, because when I tried to quit secular music, when I quit it, I could still hear it like playing in my mind over and over. I could hear it. And then one day I just... You know, I was, I, I knew all the lyrics, I knew the songs of all my favorite artists. And then one day I just thought, you know, like, you know, I, it, it's more like I just came to a realization, like, I don't remember anything. Like, I don't remember any song. I don't even remember the title of any song that I used to like. It was more like my mind had just been erased clean no memory whatsoever and i know that's a, a supernatural work of the holy spirit not my doing because on my own i had tried to let go of secular music but although i stopped listening to it i could hear it playing in my mind like satan wanted it to be playing in my mind and one day i just wake up and it's all gone even when i try to remember like what like what song did I used to like, you know, I can't remember. All the lyrics are gone. Even the titles of the songs, they are all gone. And then one day when I was sleeping, suddenly I heard like a, like, like a radio near my head, you know, like playing very, very loud music. And then I, I realized that they were actually playing songs from, from uh, this music band, which used to be like my favorite. And then they were playing these songs like so loud. And then when I tried to wake up, my head was held down, you know, like somebody was holding down my head to the bed. Like they wanted me to listen to the music. And then that's when I realized that it was a demon. It had come with an actual radio. And then it was playing secular songs, like secular love songs. They, these were not even like, oh, extremely dirty songs or what. They were just love songs. And then it was playing like secular love songs. 
and it wanted me to listen to that and they just and then I started rebuking it and that's when it left and that and I know that you may think that oh there's nothing wrong with this song you know there's nothing wrong with a secular love song there is everything wrong with it children of God don't listen to those songs they are demonic Satan wants to lure you to hell Satan wants to drag you to the pit of hell he doesn't want to face eternal damnation alone he is already condemned together with his demons they are condemned they have nothing more to lose all they want is your soul stop listening to that music it's not glorifying Jesus glorify the Lord with your songs glorify Jesus with your music and then another thing when I tried to when when I quit actually like I quit I, I don't watch movies I don't remember the last time I watched movies. I stopped. I don't. Like, I spend my time, all the time when I'm just free, I, sp I like to spend it with the Lord, like reading my Bible, praying, or doing anything else, not watching a movie. I don't do that. And so when I was watching, when I stopped watching those, those movies, even a lot of so-called Christian movies, you know, when you, when, you, when you scrutinize them, you're going to find they're not even Christian. Like they're just hiding under the Christian name. They are full of sin. They are still glorifying Satan. And so when I, when I tried to quit the movies, you know what happened to me? One day I was sleeping. And then I, when I woke up, all of a sudden like my eyes are open. And on the wall of my bedroom, I can see these actors from those soap operas and those movies from the soap operas that I used to like. I can see them on the wall and then they, it's more like they start reenacting the things that are in the movies, like they want me to watch them through the wall. And then I had to rebuke them. And you know what? I told my, my sister about, about the same. And then she told me that she had been experiencing the same thing. And this is why I'm telling you those things are not meant to entertain you. That's why they are so determined for you to watch them. You're going to realize that when you cut them off and start spending time with the Lord instead, even prayer is going to become easier. But the moment you start watching worldly entertainment, your zeal for prayer will be gone. They want you to forget God. And the Bible says the wicked will be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God, living your life as though God does not exist. You don't have time to pray. You cannot acknowledge. You can't acknowledge God in your life. You have forgotten God. And so go back on your knees. Remember your first love. And if you have never loved the Lord, go back, go on your knees. Ask the Lord to forgive you of your sin. But I'm just here to tell you that circular entertainment is going to lead you to hell. Why? It glorifies sin. It glorifies Satan. It glorifies the, the very things that the Lord hates, abominations. That's what it glorifies. They want you to see all those things as normal, fornication as normal. Drinking as normal. They want you to see worldly dressing as normal. They want you to see sin as normal. That's the only thing they're trying to achieve, not to entertain you. And many are demonic agents. Many are demons, which are just wearing a human body to harvest your soul. Your soul is very precious to the Lord. Run away from sin. You're not committing the sin. Don't watch the sin. Fix your eyes on Jesus instead.